Hello everyone, this is Manjirul Islam, Assistant Professor of English Ranjigan's Girls College. This video is meant for the seminar presentation for Faculty Induction Program 3 2021 organized by the HRDC Aligarh Muslim University. Some materials were shared by the office of the HRDC Aligarh Muslim University for this seminar presentation as food for thought. The story I have chosen is the parable of the empty jar. Now before going into the details of why I have chosen the story, how the story has moved me, I would like to very very briefly narrate the story for those who are not familiar with the story. One day a guru was sitting with some of his pupils. One of the pupils went to him, gave him an empty jar and asked him to fill the jar. The guru looked around saw some round stones and filled the jar with those stones. Now the Guru asked his student if the jar was full or not. The student said, yes, the jar was full. Now the Guru collected some smaller stones, threw them into the jar and stirred it. The smaller stones settled into the jar. Now what looked like a full jar a little while ago now made enough space for the smaller stones. The Guru again asked the student if the jar was full or not. The student replied in the affirmative. Then the Guru collected some sand and poured the sand into the jar. The sand filled every inch of the jar. He asked the same question to the student. The Guru asked the same question to the student. The student said the jar was now completely full and nothing could be added, nothing could be poured into it. Then the Guru took a cup of tea and poured the tea into the jar. The sand absorbed every drop of the tea. Now the Guru explained to his students. Now this jar is something like our life. We need to fill our jar fill our life with the more important things first. The round stones are the most important things of life. The smaller stones are less important things. The sand is less and less important things. And the uh, tea is the most trivial things of life. So what we need to do is to fill our life with the most important things first. Then should come the less and less important things. He also told the students that if I had filled the jar with the sand first, there would not have been enough space for the round stones or for the smaller stones. Now this parable, this story is so relatable to our life. We often concentrate on doing less important things we are so much worried about the less important things of life that we often forget to enjoy the more and more the, uh, the things of greater importance. This happens to all of us. As teachers, we often come across students who tell us, Sir, my handwriting is not too good, sir. Sir, my spoken English is not too fluent, sir. We feel so embarrassed, sir. We feel so down and confident, sir. Please do something for us, sir. Now, we tell them that good handwriting is of course a quality. Speaking English fluently is of course a quality. But this should not be the be-all and end-all of a student's life. The student's ultimate aim, the purpose of a student should be the proper attainment of knowledge. The overall development of a student should he or she focus on. But we often fail actually to make them understand the worth of these things. We often fail to convince them. Now that we are familiar with this story, I will surely share this story with my students. Now this particular story also reminds me of a real life incident that I chanced upon on the YouTube. The story, the real life incident is about 
Andre Agassi, former world number one tennis player from the United States. Andre Agassi started losing his hair in the 20s and by the time he uh, reached 21 or 22, he was almost bald. So he went to his elder brother who was very close to him and asked him, requested him to do something. The elder brother bought him a wig and Andre Agassi started playing with a wig, artificial hair. Nobody knew that Andre Agassi was almost bald, bald-headed. And after some months, Andre Agassi reached the finals, the very first finals of his career of a Grand Slam. And the night before the finals, he felt devastated. Why? Because while he was having the shower, his wig fell disintegrating. He was more worried about that wig. He was continuously asking himself, how can I go to the tennis court with this head of mine? So he asked his elder brother to do something for him. The elder brother fixed his wig, somehow fixed his wig, but advised him not to move so much on the tennis court. And this is exactly what Andre Agassi did on the following day. He did not move too much on the tennis court. He was more focused on keeping his wig in right place. Naturally, he lost the match. But ironically, Andre Agassi was more relieved, happy actually, because the fact of his baldness, of his artificial hair, could be kept a secret somehow. He was not so much worried about losing the finals. But after some days, he started questioning himself, what am I doing with my life? Is my hair more important than my tennis? Is my style is more important than my career? Then he took a very brave decision. He saved off his head and started appearing on the tennis court with a bald head. The rest is history. He went on to win several Grand Slams and he remained the number one tennis player for several weeks. This is also a message for us. Similar to the story, the parable that I have narrated just a while ago. We need to focus on tennis more and more and on the wig less and less. Now again, while I will relate these stories, the, narrate these stories to my students, I will tell them that even these things are very relative. A student's overall progress should be more important than his handwriting, than his spoken English. But again, his overall progress as a student should be considered less important when compared to life. Nothing is more important than life. Nothing is more important than good health. So we have to judge the value of things. Value judgment is very necessary. We often come across, we often hear about some tragic incidents of students committing suicide for poor performance in the exam, for breakups. We will try to relate, narrate these stories to our students and tell them that nothing is more important than life. Having a relationship with someone is good. Performing well in the exam is good. Getting a good job is, of, is obviously good, but these things should not be as good as leading a healthy life. Good health is more important than that. Life is more important than that. Family is more important than that. So these are the round stones, more important things of life. And we need to focus on, we need to concentrate on these things more and more. And I think these stories, these anecdotes, these parables will help us become better teachers. So thank you very much. 
the HRDC Aligarh Muslim University for giving me this opportunity. Thank you once again.